Welcome to the BibleSoft OneTouch video tutorials. In this video, we will be uninstalling our previous version 4 and installing the OneTouch upgrade. We will start by uninstalling the previous version 4. If you're using a PC Study Bible version 3, 4, or 5, then these instructions will work for you as well. To begin, plug in the thumb drive that says BibleSoft. Thumb drives are also referred to as flash drives, flash sticks, jump drives, or USB drives. Depending on your computer settings, the steps to open the contents of the thumb drive may be different, but we will show you two ways to bring up the content. After plugging the thumb drive into your computer, you will get a message popping up in the lower right corner that gives you the name of the thumb drive. It will start with OneTouch. Left click on the message and look to the upper right corner to find a second pop-up. Left click on open folder to view files. The contents of the thumb drive will appear in a file explorer window. If nothing comes up after plugging in the thumb drive, then open the start menu. Start typing file explorer on your keyboard and your start menu will automatically search for any matches. File Explorer desktop app should be the top result listed. Left click on File Explorer and a new window will appear. Look to the left for this PC. The main area of the window will change. Look for the thumb drive one touch and double left click on the thumb drive to show its contents. Open the folder called Uninstall PC Study Bible. Right click on the file called Full Uninstaller. Left click on Run as Administrator, click on Yes, and the file will open. If the uninstaller freezes, then you will need to delete the BibleSoft program folder from your previous version. Close down the uninstaller by clicking on the X in the upper right corner, click on Close the program, and click on the Cancel button. Left click on this PC and open the C drive. This is commonly called local disk, OS, or Windows. Open the folder called Program Files x86. If you're using a 32-bit computer, then open the folder Program Files. Right click on the BibleSoft folder and left click on Delete. Remove the icon for PC Study Bible from your desktop. Empty your recycle bin or just the BibleSoft files you put in there before trying the uninstaller again. Go back to the thumb drive and open the folder Uninstall PC Study Bible. Right click on the file called Full Uninstaller and left click on Run as Administrator. Allow it to run through and when it gets finished it will close itself down. Go back to the main contents of the thumb drive and run the file that starts with the number 1. This will install the components of your program along with the majority of your content. These files can be very large, so please wait anywhere from 1 to 3 minutes before trying to run the file again. If you get two install windows, then you can close down one. Follow the on-screen instructions for the installation. The installation can take up to 15 minutes just depending on the speed of your computer and the amount of content getting installed. Once the installation is done, click on the Finish button and you should see the contents of the thumb drive. Run the number 2 file that will have your name and your customer number on it. Repeat the steps again for installing the second file. After clicking on Finish, you will see the contents of the thumb drive. Click on This PC and eject the thumb drive. You can do this one of two ways. Either right click over the thumb drive and left click on Eject. Or you can go down to the icon that says Show Hidden Icons and left click on the thumb drive icon to show the drives connected to your computer. Left click on the eject above OneTouch. OneTouch will be grayed out. 
When you get the message that says, safe to remove hardware, you can unplug the thumb drive. Run OneTouch and enter in your login information. If you have any difficulty logging into your program, please contact BibleSoft Customer Service. If you uninstall your program and reinstall it onto the same computer, then you won't have to log in again. Once you have successfully logged in, the Setup Helper will appear and you can run through that to set your default Bible, text size, along with other options such as text color, abbreviations, and paragraphing. Click on End Helper to save your changes. If you don't see a button that says End Helper, then try stretching the bottom of the window downward or make the window go to full screen. The opening screen will come up. This will give you access to features that are inside your program along with online features we offer. To go past this screen, click on Start Studying. Your category icons are up at the top. Bibles, Concordance, this did change in appearance from earlier versions. Topic, Commentaries, Greek Hebrew, Books, Media, such as Photos and Maps, and this icon will display all of the titles in your program. The grayed out icons, Smart Tools, Copy, Clear, and the Smart Search. Let's open a Bible and make sure that any changes that we made are applied. When you open any title, you will have a small toolbar on the bottom. These icons will change depending on what category you are in, and you can get an explanation of these icons by clicking on the Smart Tools icon. The navigation panel is to the left of the main text and will show you all of the titles in that category. For example, all of the Bible translations in this installation will appear in the left-hand list. The program's menu bar is hidden unless you have your cursor over it. And that's it for the introduction to the BibleSoft OneTouch. Stay tuned for more videos!